we got down to Tassie with um, pretty big hopes of getting back to a you know a bit of momentum after the bye, and we, we let ourselves down a bit. But yeah, as you said, it's it's a weird feeling having a draw. We sort of we sort of felt alright that we came back in the last quarter, but uh, to be in that position was a bit frustrating. Well, you mentioned the position that you were in. Given the way the game played out, as you mentioned, down by 28 points at three-quarter time, would you have counted yourselves a bit lucky to escape with that one? Um, I don't know if you'd, you'd say luck. Um, you know, footy, you try and eliminate luck as best you can. But um, we definitely didn't play good footy for at least three quarters. So um, we put ourselves in a, in a pretty vulnerable position. And uh, it, was, it was pretty good to know that we could fight out of it and show a bit of character in that last quarter. But um, disappointing earlier in that game. Yeah, a lot of chat around Shane Mumford and his continued attack at the contest. Many saying he's a bit too overzealous. What are your thoughts on that? There was a particular incident on the weekend that drew a bit of a, the, the ire of some people. Yeah. Um, oh, well, Mummy sort of lives and dies by the sword, doesn't he? Uh, I think, you know, for mainly his whole career, everyone sort of loved the way he attacks the footy and uh, it's a fine line and, you know, you can you tip over the edge by 1% and people start you know, throwing a bit of shade on it. So uh, mummy probably knows he doesn't have too many games left, so he won't want to be spending them on the sideline. So uh, I don't know if he's going to pull it back, though. He, that's why we, we love mummy and our team. He, he leads from the front in that aspect and his ruthlessness of the man. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's going to change the way he plays because of a bit of chat about him. Yeah, he certainly does tell a bit of a line there. Is there ever a time uh, that the playing group might think on field during a game that he needs to have a conversation around tempering it a bit? Because incidents like that, they can cost you at crucial moments. Uh, yeah, uh, there's been frustrations in previous years because he's always at the, the top of the league ladder for threes against. So um, at times <laughs> we've, we've had a couple of stern words on the field. But I think this year he's been a bit a bit better. He, um you know, he obviously had that one incident on the weekend that's flared a bit of talk, but um, he's been tackling a bit more um, with technique this year, I think, which uh, is pretty hard to change after a whole career of just throwing your body around. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think he's going to change all that much. I can't see it happening, but, you yeah, know, it's, it's all a bit of fun, really, with Mummy. Yeah, and it's a good rage that he has when he does channel it accordingly as yeah. well. Hey, more broadly, a lot of talk around the David McKay incident, of course, this week. A vast array of opinion, it must be said. What are your thoughts on it all? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, we need to protect the head and footy now. Um, we've seen, you know, with all the concussions of late, how dangerous it can be. But uh, I sort of do feel for Dave. I, I know that he... Obviously, he wasn't trying to hurt hurt the man and go go at the head. It's, it was obviously an accident, but yeah, I'm glad I'm not making the decision. I, I don't know what they'll do. Um, yeah, it's a, it's one up in the air, probably for smarter brains than mine. So I don't know if I've got a good answer for you. Yeah, not alone on that. Everyone trying to guess the outcome of what this will be. I suppose if he is found guilty, will it change the way you approach your footy? Um. I don't know if you've watched too much of my footy, Kath. I don't really throw my body around like the rest of them do. But, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think I'll change all that much. I just try and, um, you know, tackle at the hips. I don't really go for the head all too often. Yeah, I suppose, though, just in terms of making split decisions like that, going at pace, yeah. even if we're not talking about putting your head on the line, but in terms of, you know, altering your approach at a split second, it's such a hard thing to do. Yeah, definitely. That's probably the thing that won't change, I don't think. Um, you know, when, when the ball's there to be won, you, you know, obviously AFL players have a bit of mentality that uh, you don't shy out of those sort of contests, probably for the reason that you want to win the ball for your team or you don't want to come Monday and see you pull out of a contest. So I think it's going to be hard to change that um, split-second decision. So we are educated on... Uh, trying to stay away from the head and protect your opponent's head at all costs, really. So um, there is a lot of more training around collisions and tackling. Um, but, yes, I guess these things are still going to happen. It's a collision sport. 
yeah, it's one that's certainly been dividing opinion over the last few days. Another big talking point uh, has been the incident at St Kilda with Ross and Membry deciding to head home rather than playing against the Crows on the weekend. A lot of chatter about how their teammates handled it. What do you think would have been a, the situation if that had been posed to the Giants playing group? Yeah, I think from from my perspective and I know my teammates' perspective, we'd be fine with it. Um, we've, for 10 years, been a family first club. Um, that's been my experience the whole time that I've been here for nine years. And um, there's been a few instances. We don't have many dads at our footy club, although we are starting to have a few more now. Um, but, yeah, we've always said that if, if family needs you, you can put that priority first. So it'd be fine with us. Yep, certainly amid everything that's going on as well. Hey, let's switch back to the Giants now. You did really need to win that game against the Roos to be ensconced in the finals mix, but certainly still not out of it, although maybe a little bit on the outer now. How do you approach the back half of this season? Yeah, we're um, definitely not probably in the position we want to be in. We're still not too far out of the eight. We're still within reaching distance, so... Uh, we've just probably got to win all our games now. We, I think we've got a, a good run of games in Sydney. and Yeah, we just need to make sure we come with a good attitude over the next month and probably you know, build, in, build in month blocks and see where we can get at the end of the season. We, we've got a couple of players back this week, oh, last week, sorry, um, which I guess didn't really help a lot in the end. But uh, just trying to get a bit of consistency in our footy off the bye is um, a definitely an important thing and just making sure that that gap between our best and, you know, what we displayed up on the weekend is a lot, you know, a lot more minimised.